now we're ready to take the rest of this thing apart. So the first step is we've got to take off this thing right here. This is known as the bezel. And uh, it's held on here by these tabs. So what we have to do is we have to bend these tabs upwards so that we can take the bezel off. The bezel is holding the glass lens to the clock face. So the thing about the bezel tabs is you can only bend them so many times before they'll just snap off. So we want to be very gentle and we don't want to bend them any more than we have to. This one I've already pulled out. Now, something that might help you uh, to get them started is uh, a uh, paint key. Uh, what some guys will do is they will um, only bring out two of the tabs, leaving the other two in place. And sometimes what you can do then is just slip it off without ever bending the other two tabs, which will help prolong the life of the tabs. So now um, I have the lens and the bezel separated out. And I'm gonna put these over here in my box. And the next step is to remove the hands. So uh, to remove the hands, a good idea is to take a piece of cardboard, punch holes in it, and stick the cardboard on like that. You take a thin a screwdriver as you can. All these hands are pressed on there. So you get underneath and you move it upwards. And you've got to kind of move it around, do it in different places until it comes off. Now, um, having told you that, and I obviously need to mention the cardboard is there so if my hand slips, I don't gouge the clock face, the screwdriver. Having told you that, what I'm gonna uh, do is I'm gonna use this tool, which I got off of eBay, found it under uh, watchmaking, really cheap, makes this whole thing a lot easier. So if you're working on a number of these, you might think about getting one of these tools that was like a dollar fifty, two dollars, something like that. But you just grab the hand and you can wiggle back and forth and it'll come off of there. Um, doing it with the cardboard and the screwdriver is a lot, a lot more hassle, a lot more time. So now once I have all these hands off, the face is just going to remove from the front plate. Just like that. So what I will typically do is take a plastic bag and just a sandwich bag, something like that. Slip the uh, face in there for safekeeping so it doesn't get damaged, scratched or anything like that. Take my hands, put them in a small parts container. And the next step is to take out these three screws, which on the schematic are number one, the front plate screws. Now, this typically, this says um, one eighth. This is typically the screwdriver I use working on the clocks. But with these screws, they usually go up to the next size up. This says three sixteenths. So what I'm gonna do is take out these three screws. When I get to the last one, I'm going to hold it up like this because these screws, what they're doing is they're holding the front plate to the back plate and all the stuff in between is sandwiched in there. So when the front plate comes up, the stuff in there is loose. So I don't want it to pop out and roll off the bench or whatever. All right, so there's the last screw. Now our front plate should uh, come off just like that so uh, that is the number two in the schematic front plate assembly and now we have uh, the gears of the clock with the set shaft um, and power indicator so first I'm going to take off this power indicator this is the power indicator right here it is on uh, number six on the schematic identified as the um, indicator assembly 
I'm going to take that off. I'm actually going to put that in with my small parts. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this out right here. And this one right here is number 10. And on it is number 11. So 10 is the alarm set shaft. And number 11 is the alarm set shaft spacer. Those are two different parts. Okay, and I'm going to want to take those apart when I clean them. Then I'm going to go over to this one here, pull this out, and then this piece out. And these two are 14 and 15 respectively. 14 is the time set shaft assembly, and um, 15 is identifies the time set sleeve. All right, now while I was doing that, uh, this popped off of there and um, this should be um, number three the um, cam gear shaft assembly all right uh, next thing I'm going to take off is uh, this piece right here um, which is identified as number five the hour hand sleeve assembly then I'm going to take off this right here, which is number seven, the setting gear set uh, assembly, setting gear assembly. Uh, next, take this off right here, which is number nine, the minute hand sleeve assembly. And finally, number 13, which is uh, the second sweep hand shaft assembly. All right, so um, got a good deal of, of grease in here, but overall this clock is in uh, good shape. But now everything else is staked onto this base plate. So when I clean these parts, I'm gonna be cleaning this whole thing uh, as uh, one unit, and it's the same thing with the front plate here. These are staked on pieces, they don't separate. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is number four. Uh, it's the alarm hand sleep. It, it, it also separates. Okay. But this one is staked on. So we're going to clean all this and then we'll be able to put it back together.